youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Tim Westwood TV, up at Capital Extra. Yo, Juice World family. Family, never have I witnessed a freestyle <laughs> that long. Man. I think that, I think for, in the history of the game I've been in, my game, I think that's the longest, fam. Yeah. We salute you. We think that is the longest non-stop back-to-back and of the lyrical content, man. We salute you, you baby. brought it out of me, bro. This Iconic show moment in the game. Bro, I've been watching Westwood Freestyle since I was like, like nine years old, ten wow. years old. So like... Thanks for that love, man. man Appreciate sure, that, bro. man. For sure, for sure. And which are the joints that you like best on there, man? You talking about the Westwood Freestyle? Whew, that's a hard decision. I was just, you know, telling my manager it was either that Lil Wayne one when he was, you know, sipping hard or the Eminem, uh, the first Eminem one. The second Eminem one was hard too, though. I'm not gonna cap. It's, it's hard to decide, really. It's just legends on this show, bro. Yo, man, we'll join the ranks, family. We appreciate it, Ooh. and it was we could we could see that, like, yo, you knew what time it was when you come through, man. So that we really appreciate you stepping like that, man. Man, appreciate you for having me, bro. It's an honor. Well, enjoy the UK now. Lucid dreams, crazy moment in the game for you. Did you see that coming? Did you when you made that record? Did you think like this is it? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not like, not what to say it like is, the yeah, monster that it is. Not to say that I didn't have faith in myself, but I just didn't think that song would be the one. The know? one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It was like, just like another song. That it, I another song, as opposed to the the one which is taking it into a totally different place. Yeah. Exactly. Totally different place. When you, what was the process of you making that song though? Honestly. Uh, that's like back then that's when I was like writing music I wrote that song in like 20 minutes right and to the beat yeah I just kept starting it over yeah and just I was sitting in my family room and I just kept starting it over yeah but look I so here's what I did back then I used to like struggle to get like money for the studio right and when I a schedule like a, a recording session I I go through all the beats that I had, and then like I just sit and just write. You know what I'm saying? I write to at least like depending on how many hours I had. I had like two hour sessions. I could probably do like three songs in two hours, and then like every now and then I'll save up and get a six hour session, and I'll be able to I, if I work hard enough I could do one song an hour. You feel me? So like just planning on you know gauging it. It was a two hour session, so I wrote that one. And I wrote like Moonlight, and I think I wrote that one in Moonlight, and I recorded those in that session. Wow. But I wrote it like the week prior too, yeah. like it was on the weekend. Yeah. I wrote, yeah, I wrote like a week prior too. So where are you getting your beats from? Um, those were produced by Nick Mirror right. from uh, Internet Money. Right. So were you just getting them off the, the net? No, they they were uh, sending them to me personally. Them, yeah, yeah. We had we had like a relationship established. So. Yeah, so he'd send you beats if you like the beat. You just you'd buy it off him or would go. Um, since stuff was getting dropped on SoundCloud, purchasing it wasn't really like even a conversation because like Spotify, Apple Music, and like Title, none of that stuff was on the table at all. It was just me dropping like my music on SoundCloud off the strength of just me wanting people to hear my voice, you know. Mm. So. That's pretty much, you know, purchasing. It wasn't even in the picture yet. So he, he would just give you the beat, everyone just trying to get on? Pretty much. He would send me like a Dropbox full of beats, like each month. Wow. Yeah. And to me, SoundCloud is like, I don't know, I think that's just some like pure artist, man, because there's no video, there's no radio play, right. there's no hype, there's no record company. The music is just the music, and that's all it is. Yeah, you want to know what's crazy, though? Yeah. SoundCloud, it's like the birth of a lot of artists, but it gets, a, it gets a bad rep, though, like on the low key. Like a lot of people are bad sound, quote unquote, SoundCloud artists. And it's like, it's all these memes and stuff out about them. It's kind of funny. Cause like, I'm a SoundCloud artist. Yeah, but like, but, it's yeah. funny, though, but like, I mean, I don't find offense to it, but like, it's like for an outlet like that to be that big and create careers for so many people, people make fun of it a lot. For real, and also just to be, you just judged on the music. There's nothing else but the music yeah. there, so you just win on the music. So if you usually get like 65 million, do you know what I mean? It's crazy. Plays is just like the, the power of that song, man. Yeah, for sure. Well, lucid dreams, like. 
that's like dealing with a deep subject. Do you think people are getting what it's about? Um, <clears throat> it's one of those songs you could just take from it what you think, what you think you need to take from it. Honestly, um, I don't want to limit that song to a particular issue, whether it was you know written from a certain direction or not. Because if you listen to the lyrics, it's talking about being like the main thing about it is you're being haunted by something. Whether that be a person, a drug addiction, a problem, anything mm -hmm. that you put your, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anything that is taking emotion out of you, and, you know, is haunting you, that's, mm -hmm. that's what that is. In Lucid Dreams, I was having sleep paralysis trying to lucid dream, you know? And that being blocked just by the shit that was going on at the time, people passing away, like just, just a whole bunch of different shit going on at the time came together to make a song about one situation that could be a million different situations mm. at the same time. Mm. So. It seems to me like a lot of songs are resonating now which are dealing with, like, real issues as opposed to throwing up in a club. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I like that, to speak on... feeling the heart. Yeah, I mean, like, even when I make songs about, like, that have, like, drug references and stuff, I don't... At least I try not to, like, make it completely a, a positive, like, connotation about it because... Realistically, doing drugs, you'll die. Like you will over your, your <laughs> resistance to get high, you overdose and you over it. So like, I kind of play on that a lot because that's the reality of it. It's not all just fantasy. All oh, we finna get high. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that mm. I play on just like a lot of real stuff. And sometimes I make songs that only I be able to get, but other people could take other stuff from it as mm. well. So. Yeah, and drugs now is not like smoking weed and getting turned up. Some of these drugs are like, I bet, I bet money if you ask, just walk, do a poll, ask like twenty people, go to L.A. and ask like twenty people is weed a drug? It's not. I don't call it no mm. drug. Like that's not that's not a drug anymore. Exactly. Think. It's all uh, that other shit. Yeah, all that other shit which will fuck with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you said sleep paralysis, what do you, what do you mean, like? So let me ask you if you ever had this before. Have you ever been like laying down, right? And you couldn't tell whether you were asleep or awake and like you couldn't move? You yeah, ever been like when you're drifting in and out, man. Yeah, that's sleep yeah. paralysis. You could use that to lucid dream though. That's a cheat yeah. code. Yeah. I cause I, I used to try like I used to lucid dream and then like when you do it right, you're supposed to keep a dream journal and you're supposed to practice all this other shit. But that's a shortcut people don't really know about. You could slip into a lucid dream from sleep paralysis. You just gotta wait through the par like the scary part. The par that seems almost paranormal. You gotta wait through that part, like kind of just wait it out. And you got the right mindset. You slip into a lucid dream. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Big shit. Do you, do you, when you get in that lucid state, do you think you're at your most creative? Um, I haven't really done much with it when I used to do it. It was just almost like acknowledging that you're in a dream. Like, you're, <clears throat> you're acknowledging that you're dreaming, and from there you can control your dream, pretty much. You could do whatever the fuck you want. And, I mean, I, I've, like, tested it out a couple times, but I'm not, like, good at it, you know? I gave up on it though, low key. <laughs> it's just kind of creepy, bro. <laughs> Yo, so 999, mixtape from last year, name of the clothing line. Was was 999 the significance of that? Um, <clears throat> I love this question. Because uh, that's the our emergency services. So if you get yourself in drama, you need the ambulance or the fire, please, if necessary. 999 is what you dial. Word? Yeah, yeah. And one of my um one of my homies said that's like a police code too for something. Some like fucked up situation. Mm. It's like they scream nine 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 on the walkie talkies and shit. <laughs> but uh <clears throat> but for me personally, it uh you know, nine 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 flip is six 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 and nine 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 represents taking whatever hell, whatever negative situation you're in. And turning it into something positive, mm. and using it to push yourself, you know, yeah. forward. Type yeah, that negative, yeah. And on the subject of, of, of a negative and real loss is the passing of X. 
Yeah. Yeah. Crazy shit, mm-hmm. bro. Crazy shit. Um, really, what I could, you know, we weren't really the closest of friends. We had a couple of deep conversations, you feel me? But, and like, you know, regardless of seeing eye to eye or not, he always had advice from his point of view. Mm. He always had advice from his point of view. It was always some advice. It was never putting me down, never none of that shit. Like, it was always positive. It was always advice. So, and you got that EP, Legends and Rich and Blind. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I did a peep as well, man. Yeah, rest up. Did that change your attitude towards drugs? You know what? <clears throat> Honestly, I feel like it changed everybody's outlook, right? But it's like, for the people that was really doing that shit, it was before it was a fad. Like, it was before yeah. it was cool. So it's not as easy as saying it's not cool anymore and then hopping off of it because at this point you're addicted. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's just like, damn, let me work towards decreasing my shit until I'm off of it. Mm. But like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure some people stop cold turkey because I feel like majority of the people that were doing that shit was doing that shit because other people were doing it and because it was a fad and because it was talked about in songs. Look, my freshman year, bro, me and my homies was on some shit nobody else was on, right? People was like, y'all crazy as hell. Two years later, fast forward, Future Drops, 56 Nights. The same motherfuckers that was saying we was clucks and shit is hitting our lines, asking yeah. us where we was getting this shit from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, that shit was a fad, bro. People got on that shit because of music. M- music is powerful, bro. And and music moves fashion. It moves, you know what I'm saying? Like, it moves culture. Like, it's powerful, bro. Mm-hmm. So drugs included. Drug is Drugs are included in the culture now, unfortunately. Yeah. So that shit is like a fad, bro. So I feel like for the people that were doing it because it was cool, they got scared. But for the people that's already addicted, it's just like... Yeah, you caught out, man. Yeah. You caught. Yeah, it's like, that's fucked up. But, like, so am I. So what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's the ugly truth, though. Honest, honest to God, it's the ugly truth. So... No face tats. Nah. I be joking around, though. I be joking around with my people, with my girl, my manager. I'm like, I'm finna get a face tat. I'm finna get this. I'm not finna tap my face, though. I'm the only rapper that don't got a face tat. For real? So really, I'm like the rapper with the face tat. <laughs> it's just, it's, yeah. And a lot of kids who come from SoundCloud see they have tats, face tats as well. All <laughs> types of... I don't want to start dropping the net. Man, look... I done seen some fucked up ass shit on some of y'all faces, man. I don't even want to say it, but it's some y'all need some better artists too or something. Like y'all did that y'all damn selves. Yeah, it's, some of it shit. is. Some of it looks like prison tats. Some of it look like look like abstract art. <laughs> you ask them what it is. Oh, this is so and so. You sure, gang? So shopping shopping is on the fucking list. Let's let's appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. Get the shop on, baby. I can't wait till this interview comes out, bro. <laughs> That's shit funny. Shopping, yeah. Um, I don't know really. I need some suggestions though. Cause like, I mean, I wanna hit like, you know, like Gucci and all that other stuff, but I wanna hit like boutiques too though. Like yeah. I wanna get some shit that people like the damn way. Yeah. fuck you get this from, you know? Yeah. So my oh, fucking swag is low, fam. You're asking the wrong dude. But you, you got the Burberry on right <laughs> now, don't you? That's it. That's, that's the fucking... You got the Burberry that, on, yeah, right? Yeah, and the Jakes. My man it. said his swag is low. He rocking the Burberry <laughs> polo right now. He probably forgot he had it on. He so smooth with the shit. He, man. Well, enjoy the UK, man. Thank you, Great bro. to catch you first time, and you blessed us crazy. Beyond belief. You man. blessed us crazy, y'all man. Y'all bless me with Sitting the platform to come on this bitch and just vibe with y'all, man. It's a blessing for real. So thank you for having nah, me. No, thanks for that love, family. For sure. For sure. Thanks so much, bro. Thanks for watching Tim Westwood TV. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date so you don't miss out. And also check out these hot videos that I know you're going to like. Just click here and check this.